He looks like a big cigarette butt. He does. It was in, what was that? Doonesbury? They had the big talking cigarette butts? God. Uh -huh. It did. Whoa! All he right. looked at us. Let's see. Another suspect for my notebook. <laughs> That's a little rude. A little no. bit. Uh, I'm burly. sorry. Uh, did I say that bit out loud? Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. These guys, so would you these guys are a little overanimated sometimes, I think. I, I kind of love it. Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? What, I is could it try. chest hair? I'm Bobby I Burrow, think so. professional cameraman. Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Grimoire. I wish he was I'm here to investigate by, um, last night's murder. Uh, obviously. It was a Grimoire. Patrick Warburton? Patrick Strange. Warburton. Strange. Strange. Is that your first name? <laughs> is that your first name? Detective is my first name. It's my second name. Detective is my first name. His name is Detective Grimoire. All right. So, we can present a clue. Last night, your job, or present a profile, we can ask him oh, about specific Well, ask him about last night first. You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Uh, <laughs> here, in this clearing? No, I was over at the cafe getting something to eat. And drink. Richard Remington was there, too. Remington? You saw him last night? Uh, just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. Oh. He left the cafe mm. looking rather ill. A clue. I offered to help, but he just wanted to go back to his office. Mm. He looked like he had a lot on his mind. He was ill yesterday? Perhaps it was something he ate. Oh. Or didn't eat. So mm. you already told me what you do, but now, why would a cameraman be working here? Um. I go where I'm needed. Vincent wanted to come to the swamp, and I was happy to help. Vincent's this other Vincent guy Vanderpier. we haven't talked to. You mean that man standing on that rock over there? How do we know That's it's him? That's right. I've worked <laughs> with guessed. him for many years. Is he your boss? Oh, I don't know about that. We work together. He's tried to film here before, but he never got permission until about a week ago. Oh. oh really? But why did he want to come here in the first place? If you're looking for a reason to write down in your notebook, I'm sure he can tell you if you ask him. Sounds suspicious. I'm just suspicious. the guy who carries around the camera. You always carry that camera with you? Yes. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. This guy is the murderer. We, any, we don't really have any clues He's to the murderer. Him. He's the murderer. Show him these flippers. Show what him. is it? Some evidence from last night's murder? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's it, huh? Oh, he doesn't know anything about it. All right. Let's go talk to this guy. Uh, uh, yes, do you have a message for me? Uh, uh no. Uh, I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. Incredibly. You don't look it. Who are you, anyway? We know! What a question! You're serious? I am Vincent Vanderpeer! <laughs> Keep the reading famous him as Vincent Vanderpeer. The, the artist, the Van visionary, the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. Huh. So if you have a talent for answering my questions. Oh, you should ask, you definitely have to talk about his beard. Yeah, you think the beard one? That's definitely the way to go. We should definitely inflate his ego a little bit. And yeah. then he'll automatically just start right, talking. Right, that's the reason I picked And it. he'll give more things. Yeah, that's the reason. And not just because you like fantastic beards. <laughs> that is a very talented beard you've got, at least. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back? Please? Doesn't work. He's uncomplimentable. Then I'll be too far away to talk to you. I know. Uh -huh. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? What? A ghost? Why is a ghost an option? To dress up as Boggy, a ghost. Look that's at from that their ghost. other. That's from their other game. They have another game they've released that's about ghosts. I love that ghost. So that's funny. All right, can you start filming? Force uh, has always had permission from. Only recently got permission. Yeah. From, to dress up as Boggy. To film here yeah. in the swamp. To leave the swamp forever. Vincent Vanderpeer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. Vanderpeer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Challenge unlocked. It will now be available oh. when talking to Vincent to find the truth. Oh. Ha <laughs> hum. Challenge. Oh my I God. heard this isn't the first time you've tried to film here. Where? In the in the swamp? What are you talking about? <laughs> Not suspicious. Uh. Remington has denied you. Yes. Okay. Or Remington never found out about your previous attempts. Uh, I think denied. Remington has denied you the filming that permission in the past. Yeah. Oh, that. Nothing but the natural process of being in a profession like mine. Mm. Every situation mm. simply requires the right approach before the gears start turning smoothly. Uh -huh. You understand, I'm sure. <laughs> no. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why did he change his mind? It wasn't even up to him. 
This area is protected, you know. Oh. There are certain rules, certain regulations. I encounter this kind of thing all the time, really. Really? But that doesn't explain why he changes tune. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. Okay. Drag an item into space happened. to draw it. Time to use my notebook. Just drag an item onto the paper to draw the idea. Okay. I am famous. I am the boss. Oh. Money. Right. That's the one. Not the flowers. I think you bribed Remington to get the filming right. Oh. Well, bribe is a strong word. They called it. It was just a little arrangement between friends. Nothing worth getting upset about. This guy's hair I really gross. simply promised like him a cut a of my next movie's squid profits. Dad on his head. It yeah. made sense bit. since he owned the area anyway. Just a favor for a favor. So you would have owed him money. Only a small percentage, simply out of courtesy. Okay. And not for a long time either. Challenge complete. Mm-hmm. What should you talk now about? Now I can actually talk to him. All right. What's a famous guy like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> quite, quite. I'm sure you're thinking, why doesn't he send an assistant? But that's not the way this director works. Uh-huh. But what are you doing? I'm feeling. I'm experiencing. <laughs> I'm pretentious as hell. Discovering. This area, the history, the atmosphere. I, I like the way they have it's a few like set animations for each character, yeah. and, and then it's not to really know this swamp There's a generic kind of mouth cycle. Work yeah. The latest for each specific thing they have. Yeah. String of masterpieces. Mm. You're making a movie about Boggy, about the swamp creature. Of course, he's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't uh, met him yet. Uh, 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 is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful Bobby right Burl. man. Bobby Burl. Well, faithful enough, you know. Yo, B.B. Hey, B.B. No, I don't know. Uh, B.B. He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. Uh -huh. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Oh, he's got a... Like how? You mean thing for the like, glug, glug, lazy? glug? You got the boozy booze. Look lazy. He's got the dinky donk. Oh, no, nothing of the sort. He's got the drinky towel. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his work. It is mm. not drinking... Then I don't know. Didn't it didn't read that last thing for some reason? Uh, yeah, that was weird. Last night. Were you working yesterday? Uh, here in the swamp, I mean. Indeed, I was working very hard indeed. <laughs> well into the night. Hmm, hard work is it? Getting to know the swamp. You jest. Getting to know. But yesterday I was getting someone. even more involved than usual. Yes, difficult to comprehend. I know. So what kind of work were you doing? Well, I was uh, unable to find no. my faithful cameraman last night. Uh -huh. He had hidden himself quite completely from view. In the cafe. Bobby Burl, right? Did you need him to film for you? Always. But being a resourceful type of man, I stepped up and took on the responsibility myself. I was filming in this exact area. This does not quite line up, I don't filming? think. Yeah. Last night? Here? Yes. At the time of the murder, I believe. But wait, huh. I know what you're thinking. Now, don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. Oh. Did you see anything at all? What is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. It's a fascinating subject, one that has me captivated. Getting the B-roll? So, you didn't That's see priority anything shot. useful? I sat there for a minute. Nothing useful to you, my good detective. Okay. But there are some odd sounds on the audio track. Ooh. Nothing but wild animals going about their nighttime rituals, I'm sure. Give us, give us, give it Is to us. There's something I need it. Ask the cameraman. Something about the cameraman. Lied to me because was the murderer. <laughs> Told me that. Uh. Vanderpeek was nowhere to be found last night. He said he couldn't find him. No, 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 the way around. Didn't Bobby? Yeah, Bobby said that he couldn't find him last night, didn't he? Bobby Burl told me that Vincent Vanderpeer was nowhere to be found last night. I don't get it. No, he didn't say I that. I think it's the other way around. Because oh, okay. he said this. Vincent Vanderpeer told me that oh, okay. Bobby Sorry. Burl but Bobby was Burl nowhere to be found told me, last night. Yeah, where was he? Because he said he was at the cafe. What was Mr. Burl doing last night that meant he couldn't help out his boss? Getting drunk in a cafe. Or hitting on a waitress in a cafe. Right, or doing coke talk in a him. cafe. Or oh, stabbing oh, oh, someone oh, oh, in a... Oh, oh, oh. Film footage. Recorded last night at the exact time of the murder. Filmed by Vincent Van Der Peer and appearing on the west side of the swamp. And the sea of very close can be heard on the audio track. Listen oh, to the listen to the sounds to hear them. 
Let's do them in order. He says. Oh. Oh. Huh. I just mean it went this way for some reason. Blast ripping, creaking, playing. Like I was going by the arrows. Oh. Yeah, you can see the thing. Oh, I see. Oh. That's the curtain ripping. Yeah. We also heard someone die. Probably. The outcry of, whoa, it sounds like Remington. Let's, let's challenge him about his thing. Okay. I heard from Mr. Vanderpure over there eyebrows. that you were nowhere to be found eyebrows. last night. like apostrophes. Hmm. Oh, Didn't I say marks. I was at the cafe? Yeah, you did. But your director needed you for some filming, and he couldn't find you. What were you doing that was so important? What were you doing? Well, let's see. After I ate, I had to walk around the swamp. I didn't have my camera, so I was free to stretch my legs for once. What? You don't Where film with your, your legs? Camera? That's dumb. Don't you carry it around with you all the time? No, not all the time. He did say that. Um... It's broken, you left it with Vanderpier and used it instead. Sounds about right. You left it with Vanderpier, and he used it instead that night. That's right, he was looking after that camera. So I went for a late night stroll. This place is beautiful in the evenings. Okay. You just walked around? You didn't do anything? Didn't see anyone? Well, I can't say that. Uh, I have various ways to pass the time, you know. Um. Says you had a yeah. hobby on the side. What's the hobby? Vanderpier said you had a hobby on the side. Is that what he said? Well, yes, he's right. I brought two cameras with me when I came here. I left my video camera, <laughs> yes. I like to have I one have camera one. film the other it's camera, and smaller. we have double cameras. And it only takes we have a black camera and white photographs. You know the kind I mean? A really old one? Like a, cam <laughs> a camera? <laughs> yes, I suppose uh, so. You're really bad I've camera. I've always enjoyed traditional photography. Traditional, This place is a sure. wonderful opportunity to take some pictures of a natural environment. So, you were having some time off to take black and white photographs? It was for fun. Only one photograph. What? You have to be disciplined when you're not using a digital camera. One photo. Can I see it? Of course. Long exposure time. I took it near the Sometimes. woods at the back of the swamp. It's quite an interesting shot, but the light qualities weren't perfect. Oh man. Here we are. Uh, feel free to take a look. Uh. Sure. Wait. What? This is a photo? Mm hmm. I haven't developed it uh. yet. I only took it last night. Just brush the developing fluid over the photo to reveal the image. Oh, so cool. But not too much. Oh my god, it's boggy! Ah! Ah, oh, boggy! What? Is that, is that boggy? The, the swamp creature is just standing in the water? It could be. Personally, I'm not convinced, but what? I'll let you decide for you yourself. You took the photo, dude. How could you not be convinced? Did you not see him? What Blurry photograph. Taken by Barley Burrow. It shows something that looks like Boggy in the woods of the swamp. The being in the photo seems to have long legs, which would be different from the flippers, I would think. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What should I talk about? Present a clue or last night? How about the um, film footage? Vincent's work, I see. I'm glad he knows how to use the camera, at least. What do you think all yes. those noises are? Well, judging by the time this was recorded, I'd be able to make a pretty good guess. Uh, well, why didn't you? I'm not gonna tell you what the guess is. Okay. I'm gonna present the profile. Maybe just go to the cafe. Yeah? Yeah. I wonder what all these bars mean. I can't tell. I'm not sure. A prolific cameraman. With exceptional skills at carrying heavy equipment. Uh-huh. Yep. It's good to know that he will talk about himself, at least. The famous director and my friend. Aw. They are friends, huh? You should ask someone else. Okay. Um, Show the photo to Vanderpier. Maybe he'll be all... Every time he ah. <laughs> Wow. He's a talented man, that Burl. Sometimes I wonder if he'd be better off pursuing his photography full time, you know. Hmm. That's it. That's all you got, buddy. If you want an autograph, a plain sheet of paper will suffice. Thank you. Oh, this man. All right, let's go uh, explore. Okay. 
Where can we go? a lot of talking. So we can go back to where we came, I believe. We can this go is that a way. new area. Let's go that way.